Oh. 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 Should probably clean up my room sometimes. Ugh. Guess what we have? We have a mini PC that dominates the mini PCs. And I'm talking like this Intel Nuke Ray. What? Hey, who put this on my desk? This isn't about slow. That's because we have the B-Link GTR by the AMD Ryzen 3550 and Vega 8 graphics. Just a heads up, no nobody gave me one of these and no I didn't get to buy one. These things are still sitting at about $900 Canadian and they're pretty much the only game in town right now when it comes to an AMD Ryzen Nook style PC. Now I'm not really knocking on that little Intel Nuke because that one's actually mine. Yeah, that's right. I actually have an Intel product. Back to reality. Actually, I guess that was reality. I'd like to talk about this little guy today. One, told my buddy about it and it's beautifully said Unbox it, try it out, see what I think of it. Now, in this trial, I guess, I can't really go benching the heck out of it or anything like that, but I'll just do a regular everyday user and just use the machine because I don't want to push or hurt someone else's product. But I did feel like it was a video. I thought this was something to definitely talk about as being the only game in town, this B-Link, this little guy is sporting eight gigs of RAM right now from factory, a NVMe uh, 256 and a one terabyte drive. I don't know if the drive is actually a solid state or not. I will check that out when we uh, get it up and running. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, do a quick overview of the unit and what's in the box. And then we're gonna do just a quick run of the system to see what it's like overall. Okay, so the front of this system, there's two USB 3.0s, a USB-C headphone jack, and you have a clear CMOS button and your power button. Now, one other thing that's really cool, this has twin microphones. So a mic here and a mic here. So what's really cool about that is if you are using it uh, for voice control, there's mics built in, you don't need to have another mic anywhere. And I thought that was a really decent add-on. On the top, it's very nice, shiny, and I love the logos, the holograms, or the holographic style, tinfoil-y type of logo. And there's actually a fingerprint reader here. Now during setup, of course, I won't be using that because this isn't my unit. On the sides, the venting, GR, I say five, but could be an S or whatever. It's just painted into the grill, and that is actually on both sides. On the back, of course, you have your venting system. It's quite a decent exhaust on the back here. I'm guessing this is probably using some sort of, I would say maybe mobile processor. Could be a desktop processor, but I highly doubt it. It's a 3550, uh, which is not released in any other way other than either uh, OEM. So it's not a processor we're just gonna walk out and buy, which I wish we could, because I've seen a review on this by Linus Tech Tips. And I think it was actually doing 4K gaming right off the APU which is very impressive. Now for me, this was a box that I would want, this is a dream box, I guess, that I would want behind my television upstairs in the living room. And instead I'm going to be using an Intel Nuke. And the reason for that, of course, is I already own it and this guy is expensive. When this gets cheaper and more mainstream, I'm definitely going to go this route as the video alone is mind blend. Uh, mind blending four more usb 3.0 uh, 3.0s you have two hdmis a display port uh two network two gigabits which i thought was really cool and of course your power jack so pretty simple uh it's all brushed aluminum 
The top is more of an acrylic on there. Um, I'm very stoked. I want to fire this up. It even has GTR air venting on the bottom. Hopefully you're getting that now on the camera, no problem. Really nice touch. I gotta say, this B-Link, and funny, because I never heard of B-Link until, of course, they built an AMD. When I look B-Link up, they've been building little mini PCs and stuff for quite a long time in Android boxes. So I guess they wanted to dabble into the market of stupid fast mini PCs. And from what I've seen, I think they've actually did that. So I'm just gonna show what else is in the box so you know what you're getting when you buy the B-Link GTR. And basically, of course, you're getting your inst uh, installation manual if you have to add things, an instruction manual. Very, very simple, I'm gonna be honest. The box is really nice. It's like a hard shell box. And this is the part that none of us have seen yet because, well, it's never been opened or turned on yet. So there's a bracket here. It looks like one bracket's all that's needed that hangs it on the wall. This is really cool. There's a USB thumb drive in here. It looks like it's a, well, it's got B-Link en en engraved on it, but it looks very much like a Kingston uh, drive. Of course, your power supply, which we're going to need now. Hmm. So 19 volt at three and a half amps to run this guy. So it definitely has a bit of power. So that's going to be a little bit of horsepower compared to your average laptop. It'll be more like your gaming laptop. So a gaming laptop would use three and a half to five amps at 19 volts and most other laptops would be about one and a half to two and a half amps depending on the uh, processor load. So definitely a uh, good direction for me to see there. So to give you a long H or a longer HDMI cable and a very short HDMI cable if you are mounting it to your television and you do no longer want to see it. And that is pretty awesome. Actually, I wish I had a short one like that for the Intel Nook. For up this little PC, I'm going to use my brand new stand-up power adapter. And I'm just going to leave an Amazon link down below if you're looking for a really cool power adapter with 5 meters of power cord and 4 USBs that can charge at 2.1 amps. Yeah, I'm plugging this power adapter, because, or power bar, because it's actually really good. You have your outlets, 8 of them, all turned the way that your power adapter doesn't take up the next slot. Brilliant. I just wanted to talk about it real quick. And let's get back to testing this hardware monitor in the background because I want to know what this thing is going to do heat wise. Right now we are at a package of 51 as I have been running this for quite a while. So there's a little bit of heat going on here yet. So let's now do a benchmark Let's see what we get out of it. Let's see what this thing can... I just want to see what it does against other systems. Like hopefully there's a, a user base that we can uh, judge it by. I've never even heard of or seen this game before. So I really don't know what I'm expecting. Or is this game kind of cool? I have no idea. Ooh, headlights. Star Control Origins is the benchmark I'm running. I just wanted to find something. I was trying to find game demos. Oh, for God's sakes, you can't find game demos anymore unless I register my Steam account or something like that. And at that point, I would just install a normal game. And I just didn't want to have to go through all that. So I just want to see how this thing runs, what the heat is like. I mean, as far as running, the system is running phenomenal. At right now, the fans are at pushing max right now. And I gotta say, still kind of coolish to the touch. There's warm air coming out for sure. Um, it's still fairly quiet. So if you're putting this behind your TV or on the wall and hidden, you wouldn't even hear it, especially over a show or anything where you got your volume up anyway. It is very quiet. I mean, listen, it's the only thing running in this room. So at that point, I would say, you know what? Yes, the Nuke is probably a little quieter, but the Nuke doesn't have the video card that this has. So I can't really fault it for having a little bit of 
airflow noise and, and it's very little. Very acceptable. Okay. So, average frame rates, we're getting 24.9 frames per second. Average minimum frame rates was 20.9. Average max was 28.6. Now, I don't know what to compare this to, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna submit the results here and see if I can get something. Oops. Um, menu. Oh, that's me using it? creature. <laughs> what the blazes is that? Okay, so the key here was just to heat the unit up. I want to see what happens when it gets pushed a little, and we have pushed it. So, uh, again, I don't know if this was a good test of this unit. It's saying right here the frames per second is about 23 or so. And I don't know, we are on 1080p at highest settings. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I really wish I could try it out on something else, but I did, it's not a gaming unit. It's not meant to be a gaming unit. In fact, I had to name it Truck because it's actually being installed in my buddy's truck tomorrow. That's why I had to get some video shot today. And... Uh, Anyway, let's go check and see our heat situation. So we only hit a max temp of 60 degrees as a package. And I think that is actually really acceptable. The fans have already stopped. We are down to 42 degrees. So it's doing a great job of taking that heat and driving it out the back. Now keep in mind, this unit is based on a mobile unit for sure. It's an APU. Uh, it's the 3550, I believe it comes up as a U, um, which is definitely mobile. And the Vega 8 graphics, I mean, you are going to be able to play games. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind you're going to play games for sure. And in a bench test, of course, they're pushing it at the max possibility. And all I wanted to do was heat the unit up. Overall, it's 8 gig of RAM. I would probably do an upgrade on that. And I think my buddy is going to. So it's 8 gig of DDR4. It has a 256 NVMe. And the drive, the one terabyte, is split up in half. And I was very disappointed, especially at the $900 price point, to find out it's actually a WD Blue Drive 5400 RPM laptop drive. That disgusted me a little. And I mean, easy change. We all know that. You're buying the unit, you can easily change that. It was like a $60 drive. It was mediocre at best, but it is a data drive. What do you expect from it? In his case, he's not going to care. He'll never use more than the NVMe anyway, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. I think the machine overall runs decently cool. It's very, very quiet. So we're looking at a unit now that you would run as a car PC, a media box, that kind of thing, and it would do that job extremely well. And if you're doing light gaming like Fortnite or anything like that, I think you'll be fine. I, I really believe that this would do some decent light gaming, you know, with like maybe a wireless controller or whatever, or doing some of the uh, side scrollers or that kind of thing. But light gaming is what I'm going to say. This was not for me to tell you to go out and play games on this. Don't get me wrong. This was a media box at best. Very well priced one at 900 bucks for what you get. And we're gonna see more. This is the introduction. This is the whole, you know, B-Link put out a product that's an AMD based nuke. No one else has yet, at least that I know of if they have comment down below, because at this point I have not seen any others. But anyway, it was just an overall. I just wanted to show you what is out there. 
AMD does have a really nice box right now. Well, B-Link has it. And the 3550 APU is actually pretty darn good. You can go check out Linus Tech Tips. I'll leave a link down below for that, just because he did a full on teardown and testing gaming everything. And that would be your review on the product by any means. This wasn't a benchmark. This was not meant to be a benchmark. I'm not telling you to buy this based on gaming performance. All I was trying to do was let you know that there is an answer to Intel's nuke. And yes, it is about double the size uh, as the Intel nukes are pretty small and my nuke will be running my television soon. Now, what it is, it is a performer in the nuke market. So if I had to take or, or want, especially an AMD lover, if you're looking for an AMD nuke, you now have it. So basically what I wanted to know was how hot does it get under a bench load? And now I know it hit about 60 degrees max and then cut right back down. So what I was looking for there was sound and it did not get that loud. So if you're watching TV or a movie, especially a movie, you've got your music up or whatever, there's no way in the world you're gonna hear this thing run, even at TV at normal levels. It's just not that loud. So I just wanted to give you a full on one, uh, eight gig, 256 NVMe, and the very sad Western Digital Blue laptop hard drive at 5400 RPM, formatted into partitioned, I should say, into two different drives. That's the disappointment there at 900 bucks. I expected to actually see a NVMe in there, but at the same time, maybe the design doesn't allow or room for it. There are two DDR4 slots, so you can actually add another slot. That is not an issue, as my buddy is going to do for sure before he puts it in his truck. So anyway, guys, it was just something out there. It's finally an AMD mini PC that we can all go, wow, that is really nice. It's finally here. I'm going to have a link to Linus Tech Tips in this video down below. And the reason for that is he did a full on teardown review, gamed and did everything on it. So therefore you can get what you would expect out of it as far as performance, gaming and so on. If that is what you're looking for, I was looking for an alternative to an Intel Nuke being an AMD fanboy wanting to know, is it loud? Does it work well? What are we getting? And now I know. I'm very happy with it. Maybe one day somebody will want my nuke and say, hey, I'll give you all kinds of crazy money for it. And I'll be like, yay. And I'll be able to afford to buy one of these bad boys. So unfortunately, until then, I have an Intel in my house. That is right. Oh well. Anyway guys, till next time. I'll leave an Amazon link to this PC if you are looking for this PC. Also, I will leave an Amazon link for this amazing power bar just because it is everything I was looking for when it came to running a power bar in my studio and not giving me any grief. And I used it throughout this video. It works perfectly fine. And a link down below for that and the B link and Linus Tech Tips because you need to watch that video. And if you're not a fan of Linus or you haven't ever watched him, might as well become another 11 million whatever point da 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 guy and just sub him. Till next time, game over.